welcome to the Hot Slime Remix rendition of the Creepy Gal Show at Super Chief Gallery in downtown LA. This is us walking in. Let's go see some art. When we first walk in, there's a bunch of neon signs that Linda had custom made, including this big, sexy, yellow-haired woman, which is obviously my favorite. Linda only does it in the most beautiful way possible, and she killed it. Kind of a perfect Valentine's date, to be honest. And you have her huge mural done, Creepy Gals Land 2024. And in Chinese, she actually had her parents' names at the bottom, in which she dedicated this entire show to. The concept of this show was to live every day like your last day, and this whole thing was so beautiful. I know they're very proud. Here we have the clown arch from her last show, which I think was in 2022, and she brought it back because it's the perfect entryway to any building I would want to walk into. And all of her animations, this TV setup was incredible. And here we have a walkthrough. She had a bunch of her cutouts on display of all her characters. This heart, she was giant. This was made for this show. Definitely a piece that everyone wanted to take pictures with when we got there. There was also a bunch of smaller pieces on the wall and we're gonna do a walkthrough of each and every one of those with some close-ups so you guys can get a look of the detail on these things. We kind of did this walkthrough because the lines to take pictures in front of each of these pieces were so long. It was like an amusement park of waiting in line for pictures so we had to come back and explore a little bit more i know bits and pieces were molded out of clay she rhinestoned these i mean every bit of detail is absolutely insane get a sip of her I don't know, which ones would you guys totally buy because I'm very much into the tooth and the bunny. Maybe the gun. I, I don't know. I would want all of them. <laughs> Look at those eyelashes. I really love the fact that Linda glued on the same metal studs that she'll glue on her own face onto all her little pieces and their makeup. It's such a great addition to the fact that people that know her and see her can look at her pieces and tell that every piece of Linda has been put onto these characters. Now this giant bow was wild. She was huge. Along with the other heart on the other wall, this was another giant piece. Linda has videos of her creating this on her profile. It's so satisfying to watch. Here we have the swan boat. This was her little tunnel of love ride that you could actually sit in and take pictures with. It was such a good installation piece. And then we have the lamb. And she did these inflatables for a show in Japan. And then right next to her, you have the portal mirror that has all the spikes and ribbon and lace. This was such a cool mirror to take pictures in. Please don't mind all the shit I'm carrying around in my pockets to make me look like I have a chunky ass. And right next to that, we have the other inflatable that is the rat. I loved this rat so much. Linda knows me and knows I love rats. Here's Dakota telling secrets. He still wouldn't tell me what they were talking about. And then you can see the backside of her has spikes. And here's me <laughs> fixing the tail because obviously to close up the entire show, they had to close the gate that it was right next to. A little untucking for her. And then of course, after circling around, we had to go and take a little ride on the stripper pole. Here's Dakota doing an attempt where his glasses fell off. Oh, he's gonna try it again. Oh, he's a natural. Then we had to take our journey to the center stage, which was where I performed for this show. Linda had to make it into a giant romantic motel heart bed. Classic. I had to have to go to get on there. <laughs> so 
good. Here's just me circling around the entire room. Panning up, we have Linda's famous furry dice. These are actually new. We'll pan to the other ones that she made for her last show, but these have a clown face included. They were so cute. And then of course the archway to match. If you look over to the right near the entrance, we have her old motel entry sign and some posters. I had to pan to the trash because I, yeah. <laughs> and here we have a look at all her merch that she got made for this show, including the Super Chief collab hoodies, all of her Valentine's postcards, and her Rhonda Rabbit 3D sculptures in pink and black all her bikinis, all her clothes that she made, her Rhonda Rabbit 3D sculpture in life-size form that she takes to every show because she is banging. Here's her cherry plushies and all of her custom fabric clothing that she has made with Rio Warner. This is rad. Mm-hmm. Her and Rio made like- Not me explaining it in real life. mesh and made dresses out of it. And yeah, here we see Matthew and Dakota posing on the bed again while Ari takes pictures. If you guys got to see it, then you know how fantastic this show was. I know that Super Chief puts on such great shows that are lively and full of characters. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope that I showed up everything really well. Okay, that's all. Goodbye.